Let's craft a rune. Let's take a look at this rune crafting event. I have already crafted a rune and uh, we're, we're gonna do the second one here. I've tried to farm up enough points to get it done. I probably don't have enough to finish it. So we'll talk through the process. We'll get as far as we can. Hopefully you can get some out of it. I just don't wanna wait too much longer for this video to go up. And I tried to record the first rune and the, the video got messed up. <laughs> so uh, we've got 7,600 points. I spent more than that on the first rune. The, the, the main thing I want you to take away from this video, and which is why I'm saying it before we actually get into it, is you don't have to be in a hurry. You don't have to settle on a rune here, okay? This, this event goes on for 40 more days, 42 more days, basically. Uh, you have plenty of time to farm these points and reset this rune as many times as you need to. So don't settle for a rune that's not perfect, okay? Get, get exactly what you want before you take this rune because you can only take it at plus six. So this was the first rune we crafted. I needed a good slot six HP rune with some speed and accuracy for my Oliver. I wanted my Oliver to have a better slot six rune. So this is the rune that we took from the event. We probably spent total 11 or 12,000 points on this rune, I would say. Um, we got a lot probably seven or eight times we would hit 17 speed. <clears throat> but again, there's no reason to, to settle. There's no reason not to take max rolls here because you're, you're getting these points by playing the game. You've got well over a month to do this. You can farm so many more points than you're ever gonna need for this event. So that, and, and then when you finish your runes, again, you can come down here and do this. And the same thing down here, you don't have to settle. There are, there are, infinite points basically available to you. I'm sitting on 20,000 energy right now from, from all the events going on. And again, I'm constantly doing something. So uh, I wanna put so much emphasis on that as, as we go through this process. Just remember when you're doing this, you don't have to settle. Take a perfect rune, okay? I wanna show you the rune uh, as it looks completed. So this is it. We, we took it at 18 speed and we got, we did get, my, my, my dream was obviously <coughs> two more max rolls on speed. Uh, the, the next best thing was a max roll on speed and a, and a max roll on accuracy. And we did well, right? We have one less than two max rolls on, on accuracy. So two max rolls would have put us at 16 accuracy. And we, we're one point shy of a triple max roll on speed. This turned out to be a pretty great rune. I can come in here and grind the speed up. I can grind the defense up if I want to. The accuracy is fine. 15 uh, accuracy on one rune is, is fine. And then that crit rate, I can leave there or I can swap out and do something else with it if I want to. But I'm, I'm very happy with this rune. This is one of my faster runes. I'm not sure if I have a 24 even. I might have 124 somewhere, but this is one of my faster runes. So I'm very happy with how it went. So let's go ahead and jump into the actual event now. Let me, let me claim my other stuff real quick. And we'll go through the process together. You can see what it looks like, and I'll just talk a, a little bit about the approach and all of that. And hopefully it'll help you if you're if you're a little bit newer and you're feeling a little bit intimidated by this, you're not real sure how to approach it. Um, so <clears throat> let's talk about the tabs. The first thing you're gonna do is pick which, which rune set you want. Uh, as far as what you should be choosing here, Violent, is, a, is always gonna be a good option. Will is always gonna be a good option. Violent and Will are very high value runes that you are going to be using a ton of. You will use more Violent and Will than you will anything else in the game. As you progress later into the game and you start building more siege teams and arena teams and RTA units, Violent is, Violent and Will are probably the most Used, like used and valuable sets in the game. Beyond Violent and Will, some other honorable mentions, if you want to try to get a good Swift rune, Swift is also very important. If you want to try to get a good Rage rune, Rage is very important and kind of hard to come by. Uh, Despair can be a great set. Uh, if you wanted to try to get some Killer Determination runes, you could. I would advise that you not maybe use this event for that because like the termination or guard you you can but i think tricaru can be done <clears throat> excuse me i tried to beat my mic but i missed sorry <laughs> um tricaru 
it can be done with runes that don't have to be as high quality as the rune you're trying to get from here, if that makes sense. The, you, you can do Tricaru with like decent runes, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know that I would waste this on that. You, you're gonna get the guard and determination you need from whatever else you're doing, all right? Other things where you just select a rune and it just gives you a rune, I think it's a little bit more reasonable to roll the dice if you're early game on guard or determination. That can work out pretty well for you. Again, because I think the, the, the scope is so much broader of a usable rune. So I, I would recommend not do, not trying to, to solidify your Tricaru with this event unless you're trying to get rage runes for your Verd, unless you're trying to get some really high quality rage runes. I would, I would probably not do Guard of Determination. But do whatever works for you. Do whatever works for your account. My, my recommendation here is you go Violent or Will. Okay, the, the, those are those are just the, the premier runes and you need the most premier versions of those premier runes. So Violent or Will are great options here, right? The second tab, you're gonna pick which slot we're looking for. Uh, so you'll have to kind of look through your inventory, which we're gonna do in a second, and see, like, I might even go through and look at who I have built and and, and look at the runes that they have and go like, what, which which of these runes would I like to replace? But you, this, this is pretty straightforward. You're just gonna pick which slot rune you're trying to build. Here, you're, you're gonna pick the main stat. So this is gonna be decided by which slots we pick. If we go two, four, six, or if we go one through five, we don't get to pick a main stat, all right? So um, that's worth getting, that's how that works. And then here, you're gonna get substats assigned and we get to keep re-rolling until we get a base set of substats that we want to work with and then we move on to the next tab where we power the rune up to six we see how it rolls and if we don't like how it rolls we continue to re-roll the, the the path to plus six until we get what we're looking for which is more than likely going to be another double speed another max double speed we're probably going to try to come out of this with an, with another plus 18 rune okay so that's that's kind of what we're looking at here so if we go and look at my runes let's look at violent and we can just kind of go through and see what we've got right we can we can go through and see what we're working with here just to kind of take inventory and see maybe if, if there's someone that we think we might want to rune for, or if there's just a, a, a type of rune we think we might need. If we, if we know that we're gonna try to be building a lot of uh, bruiser, we can go that route. If we, if we need good runes for our damage dealers, we just kind of take inventory and see what it is we, th we, th we think we're looking at or what we want to build. Now, I probably don't have any super fantastic runes in here, Oh, that's such a shame. That's such a shame that we got hit with that. It could still be usable, but speed as an N8 stat is such a bummer, dude. <laughs> All right. And I think 246 might be the better way to go because I think 246 is harder to come by. When you get a 135, you only need good substats to drop on the rune. When you get a 246, you need a main stat and good substats. So 246 is probably going to be the way to go here since we have some control over that. So, um,. I don't have, I mean, I've got a lot of slot two that I'm using. A lot of those are probably speed. Other speed in eight. There's a 23 speed. Interesting. What have we got at slot four? I feel like I could probably use About slot six, what do we got going on over here? Maybe let's take a look at our wheel runes. Maybe we did, oh, excuse me, I'm having a tough morning. We did a violent rune. Maybe we, maybe we take a look through our wheel runes real quick and just see what we're kind of working with. I, can, I need to think about the units that I have. 
as well. Yeah, we'll probably do a will rune because I'm about to need a lot of will runes. I could probably use a good crit damage. Um, maybe. Like a good crit damage with a good crit rate. That one's that's a pretty good rune for her, actually. I've got a couple of those. Nothing mind blowing. That one's pretty decent. Like for for now anyway. All right, I'm, I'm lacking slot six will. So I think what we're gonna do, I think I might try to make a similar rune. Yeah, I, 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 need, I think I need a good slot six will HP. I don't have that, I don't have that. I need, I need a good slot six will HP rune. So let's get started on that. I need I need a good fast slot six will. All right, so we're gonna go will run. We're gonna go slot six. Oh, all right. Well, that's what that's what we're doing. I can't I can't do a slot. I can't do two slot six runes. You can only make modifications. Palm reset. You can perform reset. You cannot craft two runes of the same rune type and rune number. Oh, well that's, okay, that, that solves will for us. That's a shame, because I think that's what I need more than anything else. I think that's what I need more than anything else. That's a shame I can't do that. Um, okay, then maybe a slot four. Maybe we do the same thing, but at slot four. Because like there's HP, these, these I'm gonna sell soon probably. There's HP with a little bit of speed. HP with a little bit of speed. Okay, we can do a slot four. Alternatively, I mean, I've got plenty though. Yeah, let's do a slot four. Let's do a slot four HP and do the same thing we were gonna do at slot six, basically. Slot four. We're gonna go HP. Wait, can I, I can't even use the same main property twice? Same rune type and same rune number. Oh, I need to hit confirm here. It's like, <laughs> damn, dude. All right. Slot four HP will rune, yes. Now, we have 7,200 points to do this with. So we'll get as much of this done as we can in the video. But again, if I can't finish it, we're just not gonna finish it in this video. You get to see a completed rune here. And again, that'll that'll kind of hammer home more that you don't have to be in a hurry, okay? Do not settle on a rune. So what I, what I have to have here is a max speed roll. And then uh, what else would I like here? I would probably like some Hmm. Accuracy is probably not a bad idea. Defense percentage goes pretty well with HP percentage. Uh, resistance wouldn't be bad. We'll, we'll, we'll keep rolling until we see something that we really like. How about that? So we'll get rid of this. So uh, it, it doesn't really matter which one we pick because we're just going to keep re-rolling, all right? So there's a five speed, which is a no-go. Also, the rest of the subsets are not great. Okay, so here we've got, we've got a six speed. We've got six crit rate, which I think is a max roll. Five crit damage and eight attack, which is a max roll. So, so as far as efficiency goes from a very technical standpoint, that's really not bad at all. Uh, however, they, that does not go with our HP stat, so. Uh, we'll select it, <laughs> but it's not going to be the one we settle on. Here, 
We've got a max roll on speed, what I believe is a max roll on crit, right? And then nearly a max roll on resistance. Uh, we can do something with this if we want to. We can, we can enchant that out and grind it up if we wanted something else there. So now I need to think about who would, who would benefit from something like this that I'm using right now. Because I, I want to I wanna make this rune and use it when it's done. You know what I mean? I don't want to just have a good rune on deck for whenever I pull a unit that maybe can use it. So Also, that's not a max roll. And we want a max roll, right? I, if it was a great rune all around, I'd probably settle for like one point missing but also maybe not because again i've got 41 days <laughs> so um don't don't let the fact that you want this rune rush you into taking something that you don't feel good taking max roll on speed we do get we did get defense but not what we're after nah Max roll on speed, not a max roll on resistance. Crit rate and defense, not doing much for us. Close, but the rolls are atrocious, so no. We were getting pretty lucky with speed there for a minute, huh? How are we doing on points? So yeah, we're already down to 4,900, so they'll go quick, but they also accumulate quick, you know what I mean? Because you should always be farming. That's real close. That crit I don't I don't like that crit damage. If that was a max roll on speed, I would consider this. But it's not. So let's keep going. And the reason is if I if I settle on the speed, if I take a five speed, for example, on this rune, we ended up getting a plus five roll. If I settle, if I think uh, it's only one point and I take this rune out at 17 and then roll a, a five, it's a 22. If I roll a four, it's a 21. You know what I mean? If I don't roll anything, it's a, it's a 17. So it, 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 it's going to add up as you level up this rune because the odds are, are very much against you that the rune is going to roll the way you want it to when you take it out of here. I got incredibly lucky with this rune doing what it did after the fact. But if you start compromising stats from the beginning, it's only going to pile up as you go on. And by the time you're done leveling this rune to, to 15, you might have a very mediocre rune. And you're trying to not come out of this with a mediocre rune, okay? You try and you, you want to come out of this with a, with, a, with a very you you should come out of this with this being at least among the best runes in your account because there's no reason not to you're not under some crazy time crunch the the points for this are very easy to come by uh, and and you've got you know what i mean you've got all the time in the world so Like if that was an eight, I'd probably be okay with that because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not expecting to not enchant something out and, and grind stuff up, right? So like if this was an eight, I'd, cons I'd, I'd, I'd be more strongly considering it. Swap that out for something else that I want, whatever. The rolls are bad. I don't love the attack. The other two are usable, uh, but the rolls are very bad. A little bit closer, but no. How we doing? We're down to 2,300 points, so we're probably not gonna finish this rune in this video, but that's okay. I think I just wanted you to see the process. Uh, so here we, we were close. We get the max roll on speed. Those are, those are not good rolls on resistance or accuracy though. Um, but we were close there. Again, if that wasn't such a bad roll on accuracy, we'd consider it.
See, now we're now we're on to something. Now we now we're looking at something here. Max roll and speed. Eh. It's kind of a low roll on defense. I think eight would be the max. Defense is kind of a secondary stat though. Like, you know what I mean? How many points we got? 1,200. So we've got 10 more shots here. And then we still need the 250. Yeah, so we're definitely not gonna finish the rune in this video. So this is the closest we've been to a rune I'd be, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to take. Cause I'm, I'm thinking this is more, again, I'm, I'm leaning more of like a support rune with this. I can get rid of that crit damage. And the reason that I'm okay with that is because I don't want it to roll whatever that stat is anyway. I'm trying to roll speed here primarily. And as a secondary, I'd, I'd probably prefer resistance. So I'm gonna come out of this with an 18 speed rune that's got resistance, probably defense, and, and then whatever that other stat is, I don't want it to roll anyway. So it's gonna be a, be a base level roll of whatever stat I make it, which is why I'm fine to enchant it out, right? I'm okay with, with even a roll to resistance, kind of like our last rune did, except if it's speed and resistance. Um, and then I would probably just like enchant in some accuracy maybe, because accuracy is pretty handy. So again, the defense is also a secondary stat. I really wish this was max. If this was max, I'd be fine. I think with defense being 6%. I'd probably be fine with that. I want speed and resistance to be max rolls though. So we're gonna keep going. See, like the stats there aren't bad, but they're all inefficient. Okay, so, so far we're sitting on this rune. I am not gonna take it though. Uh, it, it, I'm okay without defense being max, and it doesn't really matter what the fourth stat is, but I have to have max speed and max resistance before I move on to the, to the fifth tab of this event. So uh, we'll, we'll continue to farm and come in here and do this until we eventually get what we want. And we will eventually get what we want. You see how many chances we got at this today. Those points probably came from two days of farming, like since I made my last rune, you know what I mean? It's, it's the, the, the points are very easy to come by and you have over a month to do it, all right? You have a long time to do this. Do not feel like you have to settle. Have, have parameters that you want on that rune and do not settle for less. Do not, if, you, if you're getting speed on a rune, do not come out of here with a 17 speed rune. If that's if, if, if the point of the rune is to be fast, there's no reason not to come out of here with an 18 speed rune with subs, with other substats that complement whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, okay? Uh, so for me personally, like I said, speed has to be max, resistance has to be max. That has to be how we started off. Uh, I think 6% on the defense is as low as I would go. 5%. We're, we're, we're treading into like, you know what I mean, more inefficiency. And then the fourth stat I'm not really bothered by because I'm probably just gonna enchant in something else. So um, that's those are my parameters. I will not move forward until I hit them. So set, set your parameters that, that you have to meet. Don't move forward without them. And then when you get into this fifth tab and you start rolling the, the stats, you're gonna roll it to six and see how the substats roll. And again, if you're looking for speed, do not take the rune until it's 18 speed. It'll, it'll hit 18 speed eventually, you know what I mean? So that's it. I hope I emphasized enough that you do not need to be in a rush for this event. Uh, I hope seeing a little bit about how the tabs work uh, helps you out and, you know, it, 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 stuff is easy to overlook. I, I overlooked that you couldn't make two of the same type, you know what I mean? Um, or I forgot it. I don't know if I looked at it early on, but either way, uh, I hope that this was helpful for you. Makes this feel a little bit less daunting. And if you come out of this with some decent runes, 
you can hop in my Discord. There's a link in the description. Hop in the Discord and uh, and show them off. I've got a show off section in the Summoner's War section of the Discord, and I would love to see the runes that you guys are making from the event. I think that would be pretty fun. So if there's a bunch of good ones, if a bunch of you do that, maybe we'll do another video where we just kind of drool over everybody's good runes. All right, so that's it. I'm going to get out of here. I do hope it was helpful. I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you later.